guys, it's Shalise with Remember Rent. I'm here with another card. Um, as you guys know from my other videos, I was letting you know that I'm doing promotional cards for my Etsy group. Um, so that when we have our meetings, we can exchange promotional materials and get things sent out to other customers and yada yada yada. So, um, I am working on small cards now, like in my other videos so that I have something easily to send out as promotional materials. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this card. It's a three by three card, very, very simple, really cute. So we're gonna start out with a piece of pink cardstock um, measured six by three, and this is uh, from Recollections. We are then gonna have our layer cardstock, and this is cut at, um, forgive me, five and three quarters by two and three quarters for insert. We then have our um, our pattern paper which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and this was taken from uh, the I think it's a spring stack from die cuts with a view. We're also going to need rose ribbon. Let me pull that out and I'm not sure this is the color we're going to be using. Um, and I'm not sure what company made this. Um, it is from uh, one of our local craft stores and it doesn't have any label or anything. Um, I'm also using the Hello Stamp and this is from Stampin' Up's Tiny Tags and we're going to be using a one inch hole punch and this uh, shadowed uh, flower which is right here and this is on page 36 of the storybook cartridge. And this is, I'm um, sorry, this is cut out at one and one quarter. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna do my scoring first. I'm gonna take my three by six paper and score it at three. Oh, that's the wrong one. Score it at three here. Okay, I'm then gonna take the five and three quarters by two and three quarters, and I'm gonna score it at two and seven eighths. Okay, so I'll get those folded and crease with my bone folder. I did that one a little off, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. All right, so you have your two pieces here. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and score another pink one because I did that wrong for some reason. All right, so here we have our three by three piece of paper. Now I'm going to Put adhesive on one side, line that up on the inside of the card, push it down, make sure it's even all the way around, and then add adhesive on the other side. All right, and we have our card base completed here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a piece of ribbon And when it's cut, it's about four inches long. We're going to use the cheater method and apply that to the liner. So we're gonna put it pretty close to the bottom here. Flip it around and tape it on the back. And what I've noticed with this tape, since it's fairly uh, wide, um, that I need to leave it a little bit loose so that when I tie my knot in the front, it doesn't crunch the paper up. So that's just something I learned with making the other card. So then we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the liner. And adhere that to the card base. So this is what we have. We're then going to take another piece of ribbon, about the same. I, I like to make my ribbon a little longer when I'm tying a knot to give me some room to play with. 
and you're just going to tie a simple knot uh, in the center of the card. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. So you have the knot here, and as you see, it starts to pull up, so you have to make it a little looser just so that it doesn't pull up the liner. Okay, cut the ends. And then we're going to burn them. Or rather, just melt them a little bit to keep them from fraying. And there you have your knot in the front of the card. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my hello stamp. My hello stamp and a piece of purple cardstock. I'm just going to use stays on and stamp my hello. Okay. better. So we're going to center it here and punch that out. So we have our circle. So then I'm going to take my one and a quarter inch shadowed flower. I'm just going to place some adhesive on the back of my circle and center it on the flower. So we have that. Take a couple of dimensionals or pop dots or whatever you use. Place them on the back here. And then you're going to center that near the ribbon right on your card. All right, and then you have your little note card. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.